Meru Governor Kawira Mwangaza was arrested today evening and I want to provide a general analysis related to the arrest of any governor over government program and its potential political implications. And I'm going to discuss with you several factors here. But before I go deep to the analysis, welcome to my YouTube channel DMTV Kenya. Your one-stop destination for incisive political analysis right from the heart of Kenya. I'm Dalmas, your trusted political commentator, and I am here to break down the complex world of Kenyan politics. In each video I do, I provide you with in-depth analysis, facts, and my unfiltered perspective. If you are ready to dive deep into the political landscape of Kenya, yes, the channel you don't need to miss. Hit that subscribe button and let's explore together. Ladies and gentlemen, before I go deep and discuss uh, the eight factors I have here with you, I want you to take a minute and watch this clip where Kawira Mwangaza was arrested. Yes, that's what exactly happened today evening. And from that video, I'm going to break down some eight factors and explaining on how this will affect and sitting governor. Factor number one is legal and ethical concerns. Here, I want to say that an arrest of a sitting governor raises questions about the legality and the ethics of the actions taken by law enforcement. However, it's important to consider whether the arrest of Kawira Mwangaza was conducted in accordance with the due process and the rule of law. Number two is impact on governors. In this point, I want to say that the arrest of Kawira Mwangaza can disrupt the governance of the region. It may lead to a power vacuum, uncertainty, and potential administrative challenges in Meru. Number three is political motivations. Here, I want to say that such arrest can be viewed through a political lens. It is essential to assess whether the arrest uh, was politically motivated, uh, both pre as part of a power struggle or a move to weaken a particular political faction. This is a, a candidate who was voted as independent candidate. So there are some things that I'm going to mention here in this analysis that is going to help any governor who is watching this clip or the residents of any county that they are facing the same. Number four, is political perception. Here, I want to say that the public is perception of arrest and it is legitimacy can have significant consequences. Depending on how the arrest was perceived, it can impact the governor's popularity and public support. Number five is legal accountability. Under this point, I want to say that if there are allegations of corruption or misconduct related to the Okolea program meeting, uh, the arrest may signify commitment to holding public officials and accountable for their actions. So, this can be seen as a positive step in the fight against corruption. 
Point number six I want to discuss is repercussions on the ruling party. It doesn't matter that Kawira Mwangaza was voted as an independent candidate. I can say that she is being supported by Rigathi uh, Kashawa, the deputy president from UDA. So that means that Kawira Mwangaza is supporting Kenya Kwanza and she expects support from the ruling party. So the arrest of Kawira Mwangaza can have implications for the political party to which she belongs or she's supporting. It may tarnish uh, the party's image or lead to internal division. There are those in the government who are supporting her and there are those in the government who are not supporting Kawira Mwangaza. Number eight, seven, second last is legal process and fair trial. I want to say that it is crucial that the legal process uh, following the arrest is fair, transparent, and in accordance with the law. So any violations of due process can lead to protests and legal challenges. Number eight, and the last factor is impacts on upcoming elections. Here I want to say that, depending on the timing of the arrest, it can influence local or national elections. Arrests of any prominent uh, political figures can sway voter sentiment and political outcomes. That's what I had for you at this time and before i end this video thank you for tuning into another total provoking analysis here on dmtv kenya if you found this video informative and engaging don't forget to support this channel by liking sharing and subscribing so that you never miss any content I'm doing. So stay informed and empowered. Remember, Kenya's political figure is in our hands. And together we'll make a difference. I'll catch you in the next analysis. Stay tuned and don't forget to turn the notification bell on. Goodbye.